friend's a very determined person, and uh, you can tell this by the way he takes care of his wife, who has been dealing with MS for 35, 40 years. Um, he's had to go through a lot, and uh, he, he, the, the de determination to help his wife and to help his his children and uh, he's just a very considerate kind person when it comes to that. My wife has a terrible disease just like my brother had a terrible disease. So I want to brag about myself a little bit with my wife because the highest rate of divorce is in people, spouses who have MS. So it's not easy being seeing a beautiful person being depressed and, and, and about you know not being able to do what you did and having you know there's a lot of things I can't say about what some of her ailments is you can't can't control her bladder can't control her her you know her bowel system and you know it's 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 you know it's degrading to live like that and to have those things go wrong with you and this she's such a beautiful lady and uh can't walk has to be you know pushed around in a wheelchair doesn't have control she's such a, a person who always was one of her in, independence and now she has to rely on people which is you know it's altogether different and you can just see what that does to a person and um, she's really a, you know a great a great 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 lady and you know she always says you know other people have it worse even though she had MS she lived a fairly normal life until, I don't know, maybe uh, 20 years later that uh, she, she fell down and she had to have a, an operation and then the operation would be that she couldn't walk and lost her balance because she was able to golf and able to dance and able to do things that people couldn't see things underneath where, you know, her knees were killing her and her bladder didn't work, et cetera, those kind of things. My name is Leanne Erickson with the National MS Society, the Indiana State Chapter, and I'm the chapter president. I, I oversee the, the Indiana State Chapter for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Multiple sclerosis is a neurological disease of the central nervous system, so it affects um, everything from your, your brain and all the way down to your nerves. And so it typically affects individuals from age 20 to 50, but the symptoms can range from numbness and tingling to your extremities to affecting your ability to walk to affecting your ability to talk and, um, and so forth. So it affects everyone differently depending on where in their central nervous system is affected by multiple sclerosis. Today we have Walk MS Northwest. And so we put on nine, um, seven, excuse me, seven Walk MS events throughout the state each year. And this is our second largest up here in Northwest Indiana. We're hoping for 1,200 this year, raising $120,000. About, I started with the society about six years ago, and shortly thereafter I met Fred Halpern um, and his wife Donna. Lovely, amazing people, and what a, what a fantastic couple. Um, and they just really touched my heart from day one. But they had been doing fundraising for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society for many years prior to my arrival in um, 2010 to the society. And Donna has multiple sclerosis, and Fred is so passionate about trying to find that, that cure for her. And also in the meantime to find some, some um, you know, programs and services to help people along the way until that cure is found. Like I said, Fred, there's no one more passionate than Fred and the Halpern family, and the extended family, which is Albert's Jewelers as well. And so when I came on board, they had been doing a jewelry auction um, throughout for several years. And they, they were raising about $46,000, $47,000 six years ago. And last year, they surpassed an amazing $235,000 from a one-day event. But of course, it takes them nearly a year to, to plan it. But all that money, they designate to go towards research to, um, to find those cures and those treatments in the meantime for those folks that have multiple sclerosis. They just, with that $235,000 last year, they surpassed the $1 million mark for the National MS Society to fund research. Um, and so they will actually be honored into the society's um, highest 
fundraising club to be recognized called the Circle of Distinction, and that will happen in, in mid-November. Um, and so they have achieved, yes, they have achieved that. I'd say it's heart, it's passion, um, and it's, it's just dedication to the cause and, and to wanting to make a difference in the lives of those like Donna affected by multiple sclerosis and to help, help them live their best lives. I'm just amazed at his unwa unwavering support for the cause. I don't, I don't think there's, um, you, you find it hard to, to find someone that matches that dedication and that commitment to the multiple sclerosis cause and to, to find that cure for his wife. He wants to find it in her lifetime and he is dedicated to doing that.